while Jennifer was upstairs, he was down there getting a fillet from her. Did she ever find out? She know now. And you said the female name was Karen? Yeah, Superhead. Oh, okay, Karen Stephens. You got to say the full name, man. Yeah, I thought it was... I've had to turn down $50 million four times. Four times. Just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right. Because uh, P. Diddy be wanting to body. And you got to tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. I, I did. I did. Oh, See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can yeah, say yeah, I'm, I'm so I mean, freely. Kid, 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 I need, need to know what you hear. Breaking news tonight. Sean Diddy Combs has been arrested in a Manhattan hotel this evening after a grand jury indicted the music mogul. His attorney tells CNN that he is currently being processed. The charges are unclear as of this moment. We were actually the first ones here with about 30 different law enforcement at least there are three bear cats on scene here this just all unfolded sandra i would say this is incredibly sean diddy combs has been arrested after being indicted by a grand jury in new york that's according to the new york times also according to t Puff. i'll be back to you if jd ain't had enough yeah jermaine dupree king of the if you ask me baby Shh. Jermaine Dupri, small as a child. Breaking news tonight, Sean Diddy Combs has been arrested in a Manhattan hotel this evening after a grand jury indicted the music mogul. His attorney tells CNN that he is currently being processed. The charges are unclear as of this moment. We were actually the first ones here with about 30 different law enforcement at least there are three bear cats on scene here this just all unfolded sandra i would say this is incredibly disturbing footage so i do want to warn our viewers as you did but as you said kathy's lawsuit which was filed in november of 2023 and then was quickly settled overnight it did open the floodgates but in that complaint jake she details an incident that she alleged happened in march of 2016 at a hotel in los angeles physically assaulted by diddy now our team in the la bureau we have got our hands on that surveillance footage and it appears to corrupt uh sean puffy combs aka diddy spinning 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 i mean this guy is a master promoter okay and the allegation is that Combs aided and abetted his son in. And, and, and you know what's you know what's so crazy is, bro, that all these stories has been around the industry for a long time. All these industry people know that Diddy been acting like this and doing this, and yo. It's a lot of stories that goes around in this industry about not just him, other people. Jimmy Iovine. Ain't nobody talking about Jimmy Iovine. He got sexual charges and everything on him. But he got those publicists that's keeping it out off of CNN. It's keeping it off the major news uh, uh, reports. Nobody's talking about that. This is something that goes on, man, that they're gonna push up under the rug and a few a few years later, bad boy five, six, seven, eight will be out. Man. I, I, and you know what's you know what's so crazy is, bro, that all these stories has been around the industry for a long time. All these industry people know that Diddy been acting like this and doing this. Yo, man, I should have sought. He told me he should have saw this coming with cash. In the realm of celebrity and influence, few scandals have the potential to reverberate as widely as those involving allegations of. I say it's internet. That's, that's what we're calling that it. That belongs to the <laughs> devil. <laughs> Unless you calling that the devil. <laughs> she ain't nothing but employee. Oh, oh. A half of which dumbass bitch. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, it's funny that it's it's crazy you say these Why things. Why don't just... nobody want to accept that that bitch bitch? I think she's. She went and killed the girl cats. <sighs> 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 
Okay. A girl went to court mm. and charged her with extreme witchcraft. Mm. She she was hypnotized. She was drugged. Beyonce came and she was in there eating on her and shit while she was asleep. Oh. No snacking on his bitch. Killing people cats. Mm. And guess what? They wouldn't give her the restraining order. They just told her to stay away from Beyonce and work for somebody else. Guess what? She's having a hard time finding work too. Which is interesting because she's a brilliant musician. And she was trained at the Berkeley, esteemed Berkeley College of Music. Handpicked by my very good friend, Terry Lynn Carrington, Dr. Terry Lynn Carrington, who put together Beyonce's entire female band, which was Matthew Knowles' idea because he couldn't get Beyonce to stop people. Actual, they do weird things in their house and young men have left their house screaming to get away from them and their mentors. It's a close friend of Jay-Z. What was your reaction to him opening up about his infidelities in uh, the Family Feud uh, video? Yeah. They have to accept what it is, and I think, I, th I thought it was dope. Um, I, was, no. I was surprised about Lemonade, but I wasn't surprised about You were. <laughs> <laughs> Why were you surprised about Lemonade? I mean, I just didn't see it coming. It was just like... <laughs> you didn't see you didn't see the album coming or you didn't see what was in it coming? I didn't, I didn't see anything, I think, like the rest of the world. And I think it was genius. I think Beyonce did. But also Jay, on the other side, he did what he had to do. And most importantly, their family stayed tight. Jay-Z ain't answering the phone? <laughs> he ain't answering the motherfucking phone. <laughs> I don't like P. Diddy. I'm not going to speak bad about P. Diddy because um, he's still a black man. He, 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 I mean, um, mistakes happen. And I can't say if it is or it's not a mistake. But things happen in life. And P. Diddy business is P. Diddy business. It's not my job or anyone else's job to go on the internet and, and stump him and kick a man while he's down. Um, my take on it is it's not my business. Um, I don't think it's right at all. And I don't condone it. Even if that happened to my daughter, I would be hurt. But... Um, that's the choice that my daughter made. Some of you may not have realized um, that I'm not part of the club. And a lot of you listening to me right here, right now, you're not part of the club either. And what I realized with the club is what makes them so mad is when you don't want to be a part of their fucking club. That pisses them off. What club am I talking about? I'm talking about the club of gatekeepers that we all got to deal with. You know who they are and they definitely know who they are. Um, a lot of people would be like, what, who, who, who? Come on, man, stop playing. The other freedom I see in the album is just a freedom for couples who have gone through something. Yeah. You know, it's amazing. You know, it's almost a cliche, you know, the celebrity couple, you know, they get together, they break up, you know, like who else are they gonna go out with? But for some reason, you took an unprecedented stand to mm -hmm. fight for this marriage. Mm -hmm. I mean, to fight for it mm -hmm. and to put it all out there. What is it about this marriage that's so special that you would fight this hard to, to save it? Well, it's my soulmate, it's the person I love, you know, and you and you you can be in love with someone, you can love someone and you not. And if you haven't experienced love and you don't understand it and you don't have the tools to move forward, then you're going to have complications, period. And if you you can either address it or you can pretend until it blows up at some point. And, you know, for us, we chose to fought, fight for our love for our family to give our kids a different outcome. You see, see, uh, you know, to break that, that cycle. Um, for black men and women, you know, just to see a different outcome, like you were saying, it's not this celebrity couple. We, we were never a celebrity couple. We were a couple who just happened to. Jaguar Wright, a well-known singer and activist, has made some surprising claims about Jay-Z and Beyonce that have got everyone talking. She thinks they're trying to look out for Diddy and protect him from investigations into his alleged misconduct. Wright also says she has some evidence in the form of leaked footage from Diddy's parties. 
she says it reveals some surprising truths behind the glittering facade of celebrity life. Wright says the footage could show a different side of the entertainment world that people don't usually get to see. Diddy is off to a great start in 2023. He's been making some high-profile appearances and has big plans to acquire BET. But sadly, things have taken a drastic turn. Oh dear, the music mogul is now facing multiple lawsuits for sexual assault and harassment. It's a tough time for Diddy. The feds have raided his properties and the US attorney for the Southern District of New York is leading a thorough investigation into these allegations. Even though Diddy has strongly denied the allegations, it's clear that the mounting legal issues are casting a significant shadow over his career and reputation. Jennifer Lopez, who was in a high-profile relationship with Diddy in the late 1990s, has recently shared her thoughts on their time together. She says the relationship was very intense and full of challenges. Lopez has said that she had suspicions about Diddy's fidelity, which were made worse by his late-night partying and socialising. Their relationship hit a snag in 1999 when there was a shooting at a nightclub, which led to legal issues and ultimately contributed to their breakup. Jennifer has been open about how the relationship affected her career and personal life, sharing insights into the challenges they both faced. Cassie, who was in a rocky 10-year relationship with Diddy, has settled a significant lawsuit against him. Cassie said that Diddy had been abusive for years, making some pretty disturbing claims about coercion and control. The lawsuit describes a controlling relationship where Cassie was subjected to abusive behaviour and manipulation. While the specifics of the settlement are under wraps, Cassie has expressed gratitude and relief to her supporters. The seriousness of the accusations against Diddy, including reports of forced sexual acts and threats, paints a disturbing picture of his behaviour behind closed doors. The 1999 nightclub shooting is still seen as a pretty big deal in Diddy's past. Diddy and Jennifer Lopez were arrested outside a Manhattan nightclub following a shooting that injured several bystanders. Lopez was released pretty quickly, but Diddy faced some pretty serious charges, including bribery and illegal weapons possession. He was eventually cleared of all charges, but the incident and the legal battles that followed took a real toll on their relationship and affected how they were seen in public. Diddy's relationship with Kim Porter, which saw both periods of reconciliation and infidelity, also features in the current narrative. Their relationship ended in 2007, after Diddy had a child with another woman, Sarah Chapman, while Porter was pregnant with their twin daughters. There's been a lot of controversy around Kim Porter's death from pneumonia in 2018. The strange death of the deputy coroner who first looked into Kim's passing has only made people more suspicious. Some think that outside pressure might have affected the investigation, making Diddy's public and personal life even more complicated. How the entertainment industry has responded to these scandals has changed a lot over time. At first, people in the industry like 50 Cent were a bit too quick to brush it off. But now the conversation has taken a more serious turn. The industry is starting to tackle some of the deeper issues, like toxic masculinity, misogyny, and the culture of silence around abuse and misconduct. This change in the way people are talking about this shows that the hip-hop community is having a reckoning and realising that there needs to be a change at the system level. As the Diddy scandal plays out, it's sparking renewed interest in past controversies involving other high-profile figures, like Jay-Z. The strange death of Kathy White, who was said to be connected to Jay-Z, has come up again. Liz Croson, a journalist, says that Kathy White had some important info about Jay-Z's activities. This has got people talking again and calling for a deeper investigation – Old blog posts and reports about White's connections, which got lost in the shuffle with all the major news, have further fueled rumours of a cover-up. The ongoing situation involving Diddy, Jay-Z, Beyonce and others is a complex web of allegations, legal battles and public scrutiny.
the intersection of fame, power and controversy continues to shape the narrative around these figures. As new details emerge and public interest grows, there's a strong demand for transparency and accountability. This unfolding drama not only highlights the challenges faced by individual celebrities, but also reflects broader systemic issues within the entertainment industry. What's happening, Puff? I'll be back to you if JD ain't had enough. Yeah. Jermaine Dupri, king of the You ask me, baby. Jermaine Dupri, small as a child. It's worse. Uh oh. Oh, man. He's smarter. He's patient. He's not sloppy. Mm hmm. Just he been lining up people he calls friends and stepping to the side while they get hit by the guillotine for 30 years. You heard about him catching the sexual on the little designer dude? Yeah. Right. Him, imagine you got two seven foot tall swole guys in dresses, cornering you in a hotel in a bedroom. You finna be scared. Fact. So like, I, I distinctly remember going to a Diddy party, all the waitresses just topping. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you gotta do that. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom, but I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it, I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy going to rehab, had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry, but I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. Diddy was running some kind of Epstein type deal where he was filming everybody, right? That's the rumors, yeah. I don't know that there's any proof of anything other than that. The thing is, like, we're getting the rumors from the internet, right. and the, the internet thinks that the Taliban took out that bridge in Baltimore. So it's like, who knows? Who knows what's real? It looks like Ben is about to reveal some interesting information about JLO's past connections with Diddy, including the 1999 nightclub shooting. This has put a strain on JLO and Ben's marriage with rumors of an impending divorce. Word is that JLO is trying to work things out, but she's concerned that Ben might reveal information after the divorce. The controversy surrounding Diddy has intensified, and it's becoming clear that he's been involved with JLO in the past. Despite all the rumors about abuse, JLO has has never confirmed them publicly. She has, however, discussed Diddy's infidelity. Hollywood is keeping an eye on this story to see what happens next. JLO talks about her rocky relationship with Diddy, saying she's concerned about his fidelity and involvement in criminal activities. Some people think that JLo might have been involved in the 1999 nightclub shooting in New York City. Lil Rod's lawsuit against Diddy says that Diddy orchestrated the shooting and that JLo helped him by transporting the weapon. The incident happened during a fight at a club in Times Square and both Diddy and J. Lo were arrested by the police. Despite Diddy's attempts to shift the blame to others, including his chauffeur and Shine, there are still questions about whether J. Lo was involved in the event. One of Diddy's lawyers argued during the first legal proceedings that the accusations against J. Lo were unlikely given her status as a well-known actress. This might have affected the outcome of the case. However, with the case reopened, federal investigators think they have new evidence suggesting that J. Lo was more involved in Diddy's operation 
operations than we thought, and that it might go beyond just their romantic relationship. People are wondering about her role in Diddy's interactions with Cassie and his network of collaborators. Cassie's lawsuit suggests there's a network helping Diddy, and there are rumors that JL Lowe was involved in this circle. Word is that these allegations have put a strain on JLO and Ben Affleck's marriage. He thinks she might be more involved in Diddy's activities than she's letting on. Amid personal challenges, JLO tried to redirect public attention to her professional work with the project This Is Me Now. It's an album, a cinematic production, and a documentary about her relationship with Ben Affleck. Despite her best efforts, the project didn't get the reviews she was hoping for, which put more pressure on her in both her personal and her artistic life. The album didn't sell that well, and the documentary got some criticism for portraying JLO as self-absorbed and disconnected from her roots. Some even said she was being disingenuous about her nostalgia for her humble beginning. The musical film that accompanied the project got a lot of criticism for not being very inspiring or authentic in showing JLO and Ben's relationship. It was also revealed that she had to pay for the project herself with $20 million. This financial setback, along with Ben's apparent lack of support, put further strain on their marriage, leading to public distancing from Ben's side. It seems like their relationship is on the rocks. There's been a lot of talk about an impending divorce. Ben is said to be looking for a way out of the marriage, as he's feeling disillusioned by recent events. JLo's solo appearance at the 2024 Met Gala and the couple's strained interactions in public events have only fueled these speculations. The ongoing drama has captured the attention of fans and onlookers alike, offering a glimpse into a union marred by underlying tensions. It's not clear whether they'll get back together or go their separate ways. Either way, it's a big question mark over their future. As the public keeps an eye on them, incidents like Ben accidentally hitting a car door on JLO's face fuel speculation about their relationship. Despite Ben's explanations, there are still rumors of discord, which are being fueled by previous instances like their visibly tense demeanor at the Grammys. Word is that the problems extend beyond the couple to their families too. There were a few disagreements between Ben's mom, Christine Affleck, and JLO's mom, Lupe Lopez, over Christmas. On top of that, Ben's brother, Casey Affleck, isn't too keen on JLO, which is adding to the family tensions. Some of Ben's friends and family are starting to have concerns about him. They think he's getting too involved with JLO, which is a bit like what happened in her past relationships. At a press event for her Netflix project Atlas, JLO's non-committal response to questions about divorce rumors only adds to speculation about their union's stability. JLO's decision to stay silent on the Diddy controversies is probably a strategic one, likely advised by her legal team to mitigate any potential legal implications. Given her past association with Diddy and the possibility of being dragged into ongoing legal issues, it seems like a smart move for JLO to maintain a public distance from the situation. By staying silent, she avoids accidentally admitting something that could hurt her or reopening old wounds from her past. However, her silence has led to a mixed reaction from the public. Some people think that JLO missed a chance to show solidarity with victims and reshape her public image after Cassie's lawsuit. If she'd talked about her past experiences with Diddy, she might have gained sympathy and support from the public, making her seem more empathetic and relatable. Also, if she'd shown solidarity with victims, she and Ben Affleck might have appeared as a united front facing challenges together. On the other hand, some say Ben Affleck might have more to gain from all this. Word on the street is that he's teaming up with the feds to spill the beans on JLo's dealings with Diddy. Given the complexity of their relationship and the media and public scrutiny, it's possible that Ben's actions are driven by a desire to protect himself and navigate the rocky waters of their marriage. Ultimately, we'll probably never know the full story between JLo and Ben or how they'll handle the Diddy situation. Only time will tell how this is going to affect their relationship and whether they'll be able to stick together or if they'll have to face an uncertain future.